Alhamdulillah inshaAllah Azawajal address us from the last 10 days of Ramadan at Kumina Nar that entered in through the immense rahmah and mercy and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and then granted through the gates of forgiveness and maqfira the intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad And now the extinguishing of the the fires of difficulty and that the space that reserved upon for every insan and from that grave of difficulty Allah attaches our nafs and our nafs is its origin is from that location in Jahannam in which it continuously wishes to take us back to that which it knows, to that abode of difficulty and its Shariq and its partner is with shaitan, that's, that's their boat and taking insan back into that ocean of difficulty and our life's goal and purpose is to come against that and to do all the things that are good that Allah to be pleased with, all the mercies that Allah has opened to extinguish that difficulty, to extinguish that nafs to lower that, that reality of the nafs that want to pull us towards Jahannam and difficulty and fires and bad characteristics. And the immensity of Ramadan in which Allah sends Sifat al-Muntaqeem and begin to obliterate that characteristic, that reality and only by that Sifat of Allah we're able to sit into this circle of coolness and mercy. قُلْ يَا نَهْرُ كُونِ بَرْدًا وَسَلَامًا عَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمٍ Every Ramadan that reality is open for all whom are from Ummat al-Muhammad and trying their best to keep their siyam. And this dunya is now an abode of fire. You see people even burning people. And the Ramadan comes as an immense light and rahmah that you enter into it and that abode of fire is everywhere, the, the fire of bad character, the fire of actual anger, qadab and Allah's anger upon creation and the coolness and the peace and tranquility of Ramadan that become like a breeze upon the soul. That the servant is, is trying their best to please Allah and Allah's ridha and satisfaction is dressing the soul of their servants dressing the souls of His servants. So alhamdulillah that Allah gave us a life in which to see these nights and the power nights which Allah will multiply by 30,000. The Laylatul Qadr, Allah describes al fishad that is better than 1,000 months which many times we've taught that's multiplied by 30,000. Every month is 30 days and that is multiplied by 30 so it becomes 30,000 blessings that coming down at that moment, that month, that night, that day. So alhamdulillah Allah then inspire within us to do our best in these last 10 days of itikaf and zikr and prayers and, and goodness so that whatever goodness we are doing Allah will multiply it by the qadr reality and become salamun hiya hatta mitla al-fajr that all blessings coming all the way to their fajr time which is a faraj which is a is like a salvation from this grave of difficulty. So alhamdulillah so many immense blessings that Allah dressing upon these nights and its days and we pray that Allah dress us from those, give us a life in which to to be able to do these worshipness, to have this life to reach towards all these blessings. So alhamdulillah Allah address us, bless us. And the Ursa Mubarak of Imam Ali alayhi that the events that took place they came to assassinate Imam Ali salam while in his salah. And alhamdulillah awliyaullah teaching that Whatever they try, they try and Allah gave that barakah and that blessings to Imam Ali Salam to survive that reality 
and to be a symbol of an immense reality that although they wish to, to have done that, there's no body of Imam Ali Salam and that Allah hid the reality of Imam Ali Salam from these people. So although they wish to have harmed the lion of Allah they never could possibly imagine that reality. So there is no physical body for Imam Ali Salam and he is among the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad They have Mazhar sharif and they have places where they believe the tajalli and its importance has been seen there but uh, nobody admits to actually the physical body being present on this earth. And for the last days Imam Ali Salam would have 12,000 of his close lovers under his tarbiyah and that they would have the shaykh and they would have the image, the tajalli and the ruhaniyat of Imam Ali Salam. And these are 12,000 horsemen that will ride to be of service to Imam, Ahli, say Imam Mahdi Ali Salam. We pray that Allah make us from their reality, make us from the reality of these rijal, make us to have the immense love of Imam Ali Salam, immense love of all Ashab and Nabi because you emulate his character. He had an immense love for the holy companions and the re reality in which they represent the best of character, the most feared of those whom come against Allah, they feared the most Imam Ali Salam because of upright and honest and pious righteous character that loving towards people, harsh against devils. We pray that in these nights that Sadullah al-Qalib's nazar be upon us, make us from his ashiqeen and from his lovers, dress us from his chivalry and take away cowardness and grant istiqam and firmness in our faith like a backbone of iron, not to be scared of anything and to fear only Allah and disappointing Allah That's the, the greatest that we can ask for is that his, his madad and supports, Sahib al-Imdad, the one whom his support is of a Divinely nature that to support us, dress us, bless us, not for anything that we are but for the love that we have for his reality and the food and the drink and everything that we do in these holy names everything to get their nazar, to be under their nazar, that we ask for the nazar of Allah most high. And Allah inspired then you make sure that Sayyidina Muhammad is happy with you. And so alhamdulillah everything we did under hubba Rasul and muhabbat al-Nabi and then Prophet asked, asked of us all, I leave behind my Qur'an and my itrat. My, my family, I leave behind my Qur'an and my sunnah. The sunnah is the family of Sayyidina Muhammad There's nobody who could be following the sunnah without the love of Ahlul Bayt. If they don't have Ahlul Bayt they have nothing to do with the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad So that we tried our best to complete that reality that's Samina wa Tana that Prophet ordered to love we love and obeyed, tried our best to sacrifice our lives in that way. So alhamdulillah everything that being done for this love is for their nazar. So this is a night in which we ask that that nazar to dress us, to bless us, to grant us goodness for ourselves, for our family, for our community and all our loved ones. That from whatever Allah has given to you of immense power immense blessings, immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad to dress us from those oceans and bless us from those oceans inshaAllah. And under your holy family imagine if the nazar of Imam Ali salam upon us then the beloved wife of Imam Ali salam Sayyidatina Fatima salam the pure lights of holy Qur'an the dressing the immensity of that soul. And the beloved children Imam al-Hasan wa Imam al-Husayn as salam means it's a immense light, immense family, immense blessings. We pray that Allah dress us from these blessings. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.